after installing these replica stealth mirrors though, I was very surprised as to how good they actually were in terms of quality. Would I buy them again though? Mm. What's up you legends? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. This is a follow-up video to my replica stealth mirror install and initial impression video for my Aprilia RS660. If you haven't watched it yet, I'll link it in the top right corner for y'all. Today, I'm gonna share my thoughts on why I bought replica stealth mirrors and whether you should after my experience with them so far, although limited, right? Make sure you stay till the end where I'll talk about whether I would honestly buy these again or not. Let's begin with why I wanted to replace the mirrors in the first place, right? I wanted to replace the OEM mirrors that were useless due to that excessive, you know, the vibrations that occur at high speeds and certain RPM ranges. I cross shop between the Rizoma Stealth mirrors and Bar N mirrors. The Rizomas looked incredible, but they were so small, you would have to contort your body to see out of them. They also cost quite a pretty penny, coming in, coming in at like 400 to 500 bucks USD. The bar end mirrors, such as the CRG arrows and the hindsights were cheaper and they also look good, but definitely not as good as the Rizomas. A big downside would be that they make the bike wider, which makes lane splitting a little bit more challenging here in California. And they are physically placed lower. So you'd have to take your eyes off the road for a longer period of time in order to actually use them. Next is what I wanted mirrors for. First off, to be in compliance with California law, I need mirrors on both sides. If you don't know California cops, then just know they'll find any reason to pull you over. That being said though, I also want to be able to see behind me, right? Make sure there's no cops before I drop a gear and disappear. I also want to be able to see behind me when I'm at a stop so I can keep an eye out for hazards behind me to really position myself for safety. Meaning I want to be able to notice if there's someone speeding and coming down really quickly behind me and I feel like they're not going to stop. I want to be able to see out of my mirrors to, to anticipate that, right? So I don't necessarily need the mirrors to switch lanes because I've kind of grown accustomed to doing head checks because, you know, those head checks are absolute in a, in, in a sense, but yeah. So why did I choose to go with replicas? To be honest, aesthetic wise, no mirrors with block off plates look the best for me, but that would not be in compliance with California laws. So it was r really off the table for me. It may not be for you, but it was for me. I really like the Rizomas stealth mirrors and you know, they fit the, the requirements that I had for mirrors. I just really did not like that 400 to $500 price tag. But in all honesty, I was gonna cough up the money and just get them. But, but then someone commented on my video where I was trying to decide which mirrors to go with about replica stealth mirrors. So I looked into them and I found these mirrors, right? I found the mirrors, I ended up buying and they were about $100 on AliExpress. I was obviously doubting the quality and whether they would look good, but they were only a hundred bucks. So I was like, why not? By the way, I'll throw the link for the replica stealth mirrors that I bought for my RS660 in the description below if you want to check them out. So what do you guys think of these replica mirrors so far? Comment down below if you would cop these or if you wouldn't, what else would you get? So moving on. So 
does it matter whether you buy replica or knockoff versus brand name products? Now, it, it's, some may argue that it's ethically wrong to buy replica products in general. Some may say the quality on replicas is poor, so you'll end up spending more in the long run as you buy replacements or you need to fix things. As far as ethics are concerned, I can agree to a degree. Yes, the original brand puts in a lot of money for R&D, hence why their products may cost a little m more than knockoffs. We don't know what Rizoma as a company's balance sheets look like, so we can't say whether you know they really made up the money from the R&D and now have a positive cash flow for this product, but does the general consumer really care all that much about that stuff? I don't think so. Quality wise, here I would also agree to some degree. When you look at the quality of a product, in this case, you know, the mirrors, you assess things like the mirror glass quality, attention to design, finish quality, functionality, and hardware. After installing these replica stealth mirrors though, I was very surprised as to how good they actually were in terms of quality. They felt heavy, in a good way of course. The finishing looked good, functionality wise it works well and turning of the mirrors feels stable. If I didn't sit there and analyze the heck out of the mirrors, I would honestly think that they are the real deal. There are minor quality issues I could find, such as the small unfinished section that you can barely see. And then it also didn't come with the rubber barrier to go between the mirror and the fairing. Do I personally care about that? No. But some may, which, which is valid. How will these last in the long run? That's something we'll have to wait and find out. But my suspicions are that it may not last as long or, or well compared to the OG. I'm totally down to be proven wrong about this though. <laughs> as a disclaimer, I'll be honest. I, I prefer to buy branded products, especially for my bike or you know this hobby in general. The reason being that I want quality and functional products when it comes to performance and safety. Like for example, I would never buy a replica or knockoff, you know, or something that's not tried, tested, and true. Uh, products like helmets, gear, sliders, exhaust, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I believe it's worth spending the money there to really protect yourself which is something, you know, that, that should always be number one, right? And then also your bike, which is the core of the entire hobby, no? So something like mirrors, which is more aesthetic rather than function, for me personally, I would not care whether it's brand or, or knockoff or replica or whatever you want to call it. So should you buy the replica stealth mirrors? It really depends on your wants and needs out of the mirrors. If you're in my situation where you want something that looks great, good quality from what I can tell so far, complies with the law, are functional to a certain level, and don't break the bank, then get the replicas. If you're someone that values brand names, enjoys the highest quality, you know, possible quality of goods, you have the means to splurge a little or just want the clout? Get the brand name Stealth Mirrors. Would I buy them again though? Mm, yes and no. Yes, because these mirrors so far have been great and, and I'm very impressed with them for the money that I spent. But also no, because after installing them on my bike, I can see what the hype behind these mirrors are. Let's forget the function part that you're you're buying for, right? If you legally need mirrors on your bike, these are it. They absolutely transform the look and feel of the bike more so than I thought it would. 
it's something that really surprised me. If I had the means, aka I could afford the Rizoma Stealth Mirrors, I, I would probably just get the real deal for, for peace of mind. But, but yeah, that's just my take. Anyways, y'all, that's it for today's video. What are your thoughts on these replica stealth mirrors? Would you cop or would you drop? Comment down below and let me know. Would love to hear your thoughts. If you have the replicas already, how are they faring after, you know, tell me how long you've had them and, and how they're doing. I'd really like to know. As always, thumbs if you enjoyed it. Vaporize that sub button if you loved it. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.